Hi guys, my name is Bethany and this is A Fay in the Light. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my two ingredient dough bagel recipe. I'm going to make it two different ways today. One batch is going to be the everything bagels and then one batch is going to be cinnamon sugar bagels. Two ingredient dough is a huge deal on WW or Weight Watchers, and there are so many different recipes that you can make with them. I love bagels, especially everything bagels. However, a normal bagel is like six to 10 points. That does not fit into my personal points budget, so I was really excited to try this recipe in order to have a lower point option. The basis of two ingredient dough is that you only need self-rising flour and yogurt. If you don't have a self-rising flour, all you have to do is measure one cup of flour and then add in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Combine that well and then you're good to go. I'm really excited to show you these two bagel recipes, so let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. These measurements are for if you are using a non-self-rising flour. One cup of flour, one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, you can use plain or flavored, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. If you have flour that already has a leavening agent in it, you don't have to add any additional baking powder or salt. You will also need any sort of extract that you want to add or flavoring. So for my everything bagels, I'm going to add in everything seasoning. And then for my cinnamon sugar bagels, I'm going to add some vanilla extract, almond extract, cinnamon, and a little bit of a sugar substitute. Since we're making two different types of bagels today, I'll start with the everything bagels. In a large bowl, I want to spray some cooking spray so that everything doesn't stick. You'll combine your dry ingredients, which for me is my whole wheat flour, my baking powder, and my salt. And then I'm going to add in my yogurt and then kind of mix everything as best I could with a spatula before finishing mixing with my hands. I went ahead and added in my everything seasoning, I rolled everything into a ball, and then set aside so that can rise for five to 10 minutes. While that is setting aside, I'm gonna go ahead and do our cinnamon sugar bagels. In a large bowl, I sprayed some cooking spray and then combined our dry ingredients, which is our whole wheat flour, our baking powder, and our salt, almond extract, ground cinnamon, and some whole earth monk fruit sweetener. I then added in the yogurt and mixed everything as well as I could with a spatula before using my hands to finish incorporating everything and rolling it into a ball. I set that aside for five to 10 minutes to rise while I went ahead and portioned out the everything bagel dough into these silicone donut or bagel molds. I sprayed some cooking spray on top of the everything bagels and then added some extra everything bagel seasoning on top of that. And then for my cinnamon sugar ones, once they had risen for a few minutes, I went ahead and put those into the silicone mold and then sprayed the top with cooking spray and added on some cinnamon sugar that I had made myself, just using some ground cinnamon and the whole earth monk fruit sweetener. I went ahead and baked them for 20 minutes at 375 degrees. Once they're done, let them cool before removing from the mold. I store mine in the fridge in an airtight container for about a week. These bagels are a great addition to any breakfast. I love to have the everything bagel with a fried egg on it as like a bagel sandwich or even just with cream cheese. The cinnamon sugar bagels have a subtle sweetness to them. You could always add more sweetener if you like. Feel free to experiment with this recipe and use different seasonings or different flavors. The great thing is that you can really make it your own. I keep these in an airtight container in the fridge and then I just pull one out in the morning, pop it in the toaster, and then like I said, I make a breakfast sandwich out of it or I just use cream cheese. My daughter loves having these bagels for breakfast as well. Are you eating a bagel? Yeah. Is it delicious? Yeah. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite bagel flavor is. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Thanks for stopping by today and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.